here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you a great Wednesday. Gabe Curtis reporting on this October 26th, brought to you by Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance. We saw those temperatures hold into the 40s for much of us across the central part of our region with that exception for that cold spot. Upper 30s in Meacham, warmer elsewhere into the low to mid 50s. And out the door this evening into the Grand, we are dry, although we did see a mix of some scattered showers this morning with that snow sticking as low as 3,500 feet. Notice some fresh accumulation into the mountains. We will go on to be dry overnight tonight with a mix of cloudiness, although there will be more breaks in that cloud cover out towards our south allowing for some fog to develop out that way late tonight. Much of us will be dropping into the mid to the upper 20s with that exception for right around freezing in Ontario with that warm spot only getting down to the lower 40s in Pendleton. Heading into the day on Thursday, I'm expecting foggy areas through about mid-morning out towards our south. Otherwise, we'll go on to see mid to high level clouds during the day helping to filter that sunshine at times with a little bit more sun breaks in the mix out towards our south with much of us topping out into the low to mid 40s with that exception for that cooler spot holding into the upper 40s in Baker with that one spot on the map 62 in Pendleton. Heading into the day on Thursday for LeGrand it looks like this will start out right around freezing at the 8 o'clock hour. More clouds and sun beginning with the light southerly wind flow but we'll see more breaks in that cloud cover during the day allowing those highs to reach 50 degrees with those southerly winds picking up during the day gusting up to 40 miles an hour in spots by the evening as we see more clouds into the mix dropping those temperatures into the mid to the upper 30s overnight. More clouds and sun continues into Friday, bringing a slight chance of an isolated sprinkle with highs remaining into the low 50s. As we had my 7-day forecast, that trend continues into Saturday, warmest on Sunday into the mid-50s, with likely showers returning somewhere between the evening and overnight hours, becoming more widespread into Monday, mixing in with some winter precipitation at times into Tuesday, with our best chance for accumulating snow into Wednesday. As long as we have enough moisture, I'll keep you up to date as we continue to progress throughout the week. But what I can tell you is those temperatures will drop back into average for next week. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecast that you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast, and I will be back tomorrow.